Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Before starting my video, if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please do. And do not forget to turn on notifications as I'm sharing great content every day for you. Alright, in this lesson, we will continue with our functions. Um, building functions, I can say building functions, yeah. Um, let's open a new query now. Alright. Let's open our tables let me see okay i'm going to work with the students first of all all right let's type a select query select star from a quick um tips for you guys it doesn't matter what kind of uh, query you would like to do just always start with select star from table okay and you can build up step by step your query okay select star from t tbl exams function 5 we have our exams so actually I'm going to work with the students not the exams yep function 5 we have our student list okay now I would like to use count function so how can I do that let's continue a new select query and I'm going to use count keyword I'm using parentheses and I'm putting star because I'm going to, I want my database bring me the uh, how many students we have so it's going to count basically from TBL students once I press function 5 we got four students in our database all right that's a little bit built this query so um so I would like to I would like to I would like I I want my database to count me just how can I say one city for example let's bring me the bird city Manchester so it's going to give me um, the count of how many students have a bird city is Manchester Manchester that's a five it is one let's change it okay um, I'm going to command line let's update our database I'm gonna change London to Manchester update TBL students set birth city let's say Manchester which one don't forget to use reverse keyword here because if you execute your creator like this all data will be set as a Manchester all right so let's use where ID 35 I'm gonna change ID 35 birth city from London to Manchester let's say um, ID 35 let's function 5 I'm gonna make this like command let's if you select the query like this and right click and execute it is going to work as you can see the second line the idea 35 birthday is Manchester now okay now I would like to run my this query select this one right click and execute as you as you can see there is two okay I'm gonna copy this query and let's add some much more meaningful name I'm using as keyword students let's say students f5 as you can see we have two students coming from Man Manchester what if I say what if I delete Manchester section 5 there is four students coming from um, our database all right I'm gonna leave it like that oops okay let's make it command line I assume you understand how we are using count section and also I would like to show you um, order um, group by what if I would like to see which students come from which city so let's try to do it let's copy this section and let's say here per city all right let's plus f5 
as you can see we have an error let's have a look at this error message is invalid because what is saying us function or the group by clause it is it is telling us you need to use group by to make them group okay so to do that I'm going to add group by the end of my query and what is my key to make them group birthday so I want my database group my data according to birthdays and bring me the Manchester and write me the count and the birthday let's function 5 as you can see Manchester got two students let's delete our let's delete our um, filter I want all cities so what's gonna happen right now I'm gonna see all the cities and how many students come from that Birmingham one student, Bristol one student, Manchester two students this is how we using group by guys perfect I assume you understand how we are using birthday let's make them comment section perfect I'm gonna give a title here um, let's say count and go by okay let's continue with the some average mean max all right let me make make this section a little bit slower perfect okay I'm gonna work now with the TBL exams because those functions work with the numbers because we're going to get summary we're going to get average we're going to mean minimum and maximum value of our from our tables all right let's start with the select again select star from I'm not I'm thinking nothing just select star from the table this is my first query all the time it makes easy for me everything function 5 yeah exam 1 2 and 3 okay let's um, find the exam 1 total exam 2 total and exam 3 total in the class and let's see how many point gathered um, for each examination to do that I'm using I'm using I'm gonna keep this select top of my query select sum parentheses exam exam one and some parentheses exam two and some parentheses exam three from TBL exams let's press function well, this is wrong I guess it's going to be exam two yep let's say function five as you can see we have total uh, value of our examination results okay we can add a meaningful name for anonymous columns let's say um, exam one summary and I'm gonna copy and paste for the other ones exam two and exam three summary let's function five as you can see here we go okay let's find out the class average for each uh, each examination to do that I'm gonna copy all of them again not to type I'm gonna make this section to the command line then we using average average for exam one and let's say average nope sorry average so average for exam 2 and exam 2 average for the name average for exam 3 and average for exam 3 yep so let's see the results as you can see these are our average result 
for each class so if you would like to see the the average result of your class you can use average function all right perfect um let's do something different um I would like to show you how we can use math operators in our query but before that I would like to show you the minimum and maximum let's find the uh, best uh, best taken notes for each examination and the worst taken notes for each examination to do that we are using select max exam one why am why I why I'm not using this one let's copy and paste again so this is going to give us the max um, taken degree from exam one and let's say exam one max this is going to be exam two max 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 yep let's have a look maximum for the three let's function five what's 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 happening now here let me have a look max exam one is max exam two did i something wrong exam three s from tbl exam Incorrect syntax need the keyword from. There is something problem here. What is the problem here? Yeah, it's working now. Perfect. There is a some number um, mistype error. Perfect. It's working. As you can see, the highest taken examination degree for exam one is ninety five. And 75 for exam 2 and 45 from exam 3 it's <laughs> it's really interesting all of comes from the third student which which is the smartest one i guess okay let's have a look to minimum one so we just need to change maximum to minimum that's all we need to do and it is going to show us minimum degree has been taken by the students for each examination let's say mean Um, minimum mean minimum and mean again all right let's function five as you can see 55 for student one 35 coming from student two and 25 coming from student one perfect i assume you understand how we can use some uh, summary average maximum and minimum so let's do some complicated a little bit more complicated um service including math operators let's say let's start from again um so we already have select stuff from table exams let's delete this one and function five let's see the result oops let's, let's, okay perfect let's continue with that okay uh, let's calculate each student's average note now select um, star I would like to see all of the notes and let's put comma and I would like to average of three notes so I have to um, add to each other exam two um exam three let's put them in bracket divide three and from tbl exams let's see the results as you can see these are these are average notes for each student let's give a meaningful name as average function 5 this is average not perfect let's make some selection according to these average notes select star I want my database bring me the old students okay 
from TBL exams where I'm going to add a filter which is going to be this is our average result right I'm gonna copy this section here it must be smaller than 50 I want my database bring me the students which they which they have um, lower average than 50 let's say function 5 as you can see we got two students we got two students uh, it's lower than this two average also we able to see this section as well we can add this here yep as you can see average 41 and 48 which is smaller than 50 let's make it command line all right um let me think a little bit is there anything that i can show you for example maybe we can make a count let's try to do something different select count i want just number of my students which um they pass they which uh, how can i say i'm i i want database to give me the students get a average result lower than 50 as a count not their information okay so i'm going to use count and i'm going to add a ver filtering let's add this filter i want my um i want my students average notes smaller than 50 so let's say tbl exams let's say f5 as you can see we have two students lower than 50 average grade all right I guess um, let me have a look how many minutes have been done it's 17 minutes already done I think um, I'm gonna finish this lesson here I showed you everything what I would like to show you in this lesson um, let's save our queries let's save them all for you for your if you if you would like to download these queries from my cloud repository for the future let's query list for query list for I'm gonna say here um, count average max mean group by anything else count average max mean group by math operators yeah perfect um, it's it sounds good let's save it now it's saved let's minimize and let's open our git bash see the desktop see the ms sql all right let's have a look our git status yeah, we have a new file waiting for edit our staging area it at dot add all of them let's do commit now commit it commit double dash m let's say count um, group by max mean Math operation oper operators lessons perfect. Let's edit. Okay, let's have a look. Our git log. This is our latest um, commitment, guys. It's already done. Okay, thank you for watching my video. If you like the video, I will I will be really appreciated. It really motivates me to create new contents. And if you have questions, do not forget to drop comment below the video. Take care of yourself. See you on next lesson. Bye bye.